every month ladies have to use certain products. Now it could be tampons or to give them their technical name, tummy rockets, or they may use sanitary towels. And if you think it sounds a bit weird, a man talking about that, don't worry, it feels really bloody awkward. But the reason I bring it up is that the company Procter & Gamble have agreed to change the packaging on the always range of sanitary towels. Now until yesterday, I had no idea that's the best selling range. I mean, we've all seen the adverts, and as we know from advertising, women on their periods are fucking loving life. Although I think Always has the slightly creepy advert, the one that goes, women are all different sizes, so why wouldn't their pads be? Which is nice to know as a bloke, because now you can see what products a woman is buying and know whether she is pure and virginal or whether it would be like throwing a sausage down an alleyway. But what the company has agreed to do is to remove the Venus logo, the universal symbol for female, because they were getting complaints from trans activists. Um, tweets such as, non-binary and trans people have to use your product as well as if you didn't know exclamation mark and a lot of the complaints have come from trans men women who identify as male now this in turn has pissed off a lot of uh, women's groups i should point out trans men are usually very easy to spot with their baseball caps and padded check shirts they always look like they just stepped out of a 1996 grunge video. But anyway, a lot of women's groups are now saying they will boycott the company's products. And I've got a lot of sympathy with that. Because if there's one product which is clearly aimed at women, well, that's it. And here's the thing. The complaint coming from the trans community hasn't really surprised me. Because there's a lot of headlines come from that area of society. But all the trans people I know are honest, decent people just trying to live their lives. But there is this hardcore elite who act like professional fucking victims, crying at everything. And here's the harsh truth of it. If you are a minority in society, things are never going to be perfect. I'm a minority. I'm left-handed. That means for me, the entire fucking world is the wrong way around. My handwriting is appalling and simple tasks like using a tin opener or a pair of fucking scissors is pretty much beyond me. But I accept I am the oddity. I'm not going to go down to Parliament and scream that the English language must henceforth be written from right to left and that pencil sharpeners must all work counterclockwise. And this is the thing. You can identify as being a man, a woman or a fucking toaster. You can win the argument that you need to be accepted. You can win the battle to have equal rights, but you cannot battle reality. And if once a month you have blood coming out of your vagina, technically you're a fucking woman. And you won't further your cause by pissing off other women. That's what we're for, straight men. We've been pissing off women for thousands of years. In fact, I think the whole thing may have nothing to do with women wanting the Venus symbol on there to preserve the image of femininity. They want it on there because they know it embarrasses us. Because if you're a straight bloke in a relationship, you will have had to do this. You'll be at the supermarket and go, do you want anything, love? All oh, right, you want me to get them, do you? Hang up and go, oh, for fuck's sake. Then you go to the till and avoid eye contact in case the woman behind the counter thinks you're a fucking pervert.